So hello everyone, I have here a HP Elite Desk 845G8 notebook, beautiful laptop. In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you will go ahead, you know, to upgrade the NVMe SSD. I have here a one terabyte NVMe SSD. I'm going to be upgrading this laptop. I also have here a 32 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM. I'm going to be showing you step by step how you go ahead, you know, to upgrade this beautiful notebook if you ever have the rare opportunity of having one of these see obviously you have to make sure your laptop is switched off this one right is already switched off and then you have to go ahead and open the screws at the back i think we've got one two three four five things are pretty much easier a long time ago it used to be like eight or nine screws but right now you just have five screws to deal with with this screwdriver i can actually go ahead and take them off one after the other right here i've got the right screwdriver and i am just gonna slowly take out the screws just like that mind you these screws are not going to fall off you know a long time ago also it used to be that these screws whenever you take them out they tend to fall out and sometimes you cannot seem to find them anymore and things are just different now things are pretty much easier now now i have the screws all removed so now is the moment of truth i have to slowly make sure that i pull out the back of the laptop Easily enough, this can actually be done with your hands, but if you do not have, you know, hands that are strong enough to do this, then you may want to use, you know, something like this. But in this case, it's just enough for me to gently pry out the laptop. If you are actually sure that all the screws have been opened, then it, this should actually be, you know, an easy process. All right. So this is exactly how it looks. Just going to take that out. And gently place my laptop right there beautiful laptop i must say you know beautiful design inside this is exactly how it looks if yours doesn't look like this then obviously you do not have a hp elite book 845 g8 but if you have that done next thing you want to do is to make sure you take out the ssd if you if you take a look at this place it says pull so i'm just going to gently you know pull it up but now it's broken this is not a problem i can actually get something to actually lift it up and make sure that it's gone out so i think this screwdriver might just do the trick see i'm just going to gently you know pry it up and lift it up and in this way i can actually take this cover out this little ribbon that has been broken is absolutely like i said not a problem it's just a ribbon that will enable you hold that but if it's broken you can just do exactly the way I have done that. I haven't done that. I'm going to take my screwdriver and try to take out the SSD just like that. Okay. And once again, I have to gently lift up the NVMe SSD. See, right here is a 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD. I do not want this. All I want for this notebook is a one terabyte like you can see. Just gonna go ahead and open it up. And then I have my SSD. I'm gonna go back, slot it on just like that. And don't forget to replace your screw. Otherwise, the SSD is gonna bounce out and that is exactly not what you want. So I'm going to lock it back gently and then I'm going to also replace this cover right here. You know, just a little gentle push should actually be fine. All right. So that's in. And now the next thing I have to do is to take out the RAM and the RAM sticks are exactly here. So all I have to do is to first make sure that this, you know, this tape here is lifted up. Just right here, there's actually the possibility for you to hose this and try to, you know, lift it up. It's exactly what I am going to do. So I'm just going to, you know, put that here and try to lift it up. Just like that. But I really do think that this has to be taken out so that you actually have everything just in place. I, didn't, I don't want to re actually remove the tape here. right 
I wouldn't know why this is necessary to be here, but this is just what it is. Okay, so now that that is there, this is exactly how it looks. So I'm just going to slide that back. And in this way, I can actually take out the RAM sticks that's there. I'm going to go ahead and include this 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. So the first one goes there. And the second one actually goes here. All right, so if you have that in place, you have your RAM sticks, you have your SSD, I think this is the best time to actually close this. You could actually close this before this if you would want to remove this, but in my own case, I really want this tape to remain there, so I don't want to take it out. I'm just going to go ahead and align this thing wherever it is, and then make sure it's kind of gently clipped down. It's gently clipped down right in place. right just like that and then my tape can be returned back to where I took it out from all right everything appears to be you know just exactly the way it should be so in this case I can then go ahead and you know put back the back case I'm taking a look at the fan here I kind of feel like it's something I want to dust out because it looks a little bit dusted if you can see so I'm just going to go ahead take a little brush you know and do something like this just to be sure that there's no you know debris hanging there because this laptop possibly will not be opened you know for a long time all right and right now everything kind of looks you know fresh clean and ready to go all right so i want to take my back cover and align it properly just to be sure that whenever i start to screw down it's just going to be you know very very easy so i'm gonna go take a look at the edges try to clip them down just go from one side to the other if you kind of meet some resistance i want to advise you don't force anything because most of these things they are very you know fragile and because they are fragile things can just easily you know go wrong so now that that is in place i can then go ahead and screw back my the screws holding the back cover just like that see why screwing this thing you also do not have to screw it so tight because when you screw it so tight once again you have the you know you could actually destroy the screw head and you do not want that to happen you never can tell when you might have to open your you know notebook again okay so now i have everything well done and I'm just going to go ahead, fire on my notebook and be sure that everything tends to work the way I want it to be. If this video helps you, please do me a favor, go ahead and click on the like button, subscribe to the channel until I see you again in the next one. Peace.